to my channel so today's video is going to be a hair review on the hair that i'm wearing right now it's from long Quee hair long key long Quee. um i don't know how to pronounce it correctly but um yeah they sent me this hair they are a vendor on aliexpress so i'm wearing their brazilian curly hair three bundles of 16 18 20 and also a 16 inch closure i believe yeah i believe it's a 16 inch closure what the 20 inch looks like on me it stops about right here I like how full the hair is normally with curly hair I would do four bundles but um, I feel like three bundles is definitely enough to make it nice and full you know because with curly hair you don't want it to be thin but I don't like my curly hair to be thin so three bundles and um, three bundles was definitely enough and I also had a little bit of hair left over after I was done so. yeah so this is the hair right here I did bleach and color this hair myself. I bleached it twice and then I used a Adore hair color. I mixed like two different Adore hair dyes to get this color. And this is how the hair looks after bleaching it twice. I really like this color. This wasn't the color that I was originally going for. I wanted to do like a burgundy-ish like wine red color but it turned out this bright red. I mean but it's, it's cute too so you know it's whatever i will say that the curl pattern did change a little bit after i bleached it i noticed that the curls were a little um a little looser but you know that's expected when you bleach hair it's not going to be the same type of texture and it's not going to feel the same way as it does when you first get it i don't know if you guys can tell but the curls at the bottom are way looser than the curls that are at the top so yeah um and also the hair it's a little dry like it's it's not it's really dry so I probably will end up doing is just like chopping off the ends because you know everything from up here is good but the ends are just like really dry and they feel just like really brittle so the hair does shed quite a lot it sheds more than other hair that I've had um I don't know if it's because I bleached it I mean it's nothing that I can't handle you know but it does shed a lot but the curl pattern is still really pretty even after it's been bleached twice all i do to the hair to maintain the curls i just um spray it down with water and then add some conditioner to it i don't really use any type of um like curl enhancing products on the hair yeah that's probably why it feels a little dry you know what type of products you guys use to maintain curly weave in the description box below because i haven't found a product that um helps to like moisturize the hair but also maintain the curls so let me know what you guys use down below the hair it doesn't tangle that much i mean i can like run my fingers through it and you know it doesn't really tangle that much well there you go a lot you got yeah, i don't really have anything else to really say about the hair it's good quality as long as you if you are going to bleach it just make sure to really moisturize the hair i will keep you guys updated on how this hair is holding up if you have any other questions that i did not address in the video just let me know down in the comments below and i'll be sure to get back to you guys yeah if you want to see how i got this popping red color then just keep on watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Ooh, my nail got caught <laughs> see that's how you know it's time to get a feeling when your nails get stuck when your hair gets stuck under your nails yeah Okay, this is just me unboxing the hair and showing you guys how the hair came packaged in a cute little box. And they also sent along a weaving cap, which is really nice. And this is the hair right here. I have three bundles of their Brazilian Curly. And this curl pattern is so pretty in the hair. It feels so soft and luxurious. And uh, it's so pretty. And this is just me showing you guys how thick each bundle is. So you get a nice amount of hair for each bundle which is really good and then of course the lace closure so now i'm using my bw2 bleaching powder along with some 40 volume developer and i'm just going to begin to make my bleach mixture i kind of just eyeball this um because i've bleached hair before so i know how to you know just measure it out without having to actually measure it but if you are a beginner i would definitely say um use the measuring cup and measure out measure out how much bleach and developer to mix in so i'm just mixing it until it's the consistency that i like which is something that's not too thick but also something that's not too thin so 
So now I have my bundles just laid out flat so I can get ready to apply my bleach. But first, I'm going to take a wide tooth comb, just to kind of detangle the hair a little bit because the hair is curly and I want the bleach to apply evenly to each strand. So, um, yeah, just detangle the hair a little bit. And now I'm applying my bleach mixture starting at the bottom and just working my way up. So I flipped the hair over and I applied the bleach to both sides just to make sure that each strand was coated with the bleach I'm not missing any spots and if you can see I didn't take the bleach all the way up to the top of the track because I wanted the roots to still be dark so um, yeah I let the bleach sit on the hair for about 30 minutes and then I just rinsed it with some regular old shampoo and that's how the color turned out it's like a nice honey blonde it's not too light but it's still a really nice um, shade of blonde and these are the three col well two colors that I use from Adore. I use mostly magenta, but I added a little bit of the Fiesta Fuchsia because I didn't want the hair to turn out too pink. So I'm mixing up my color and then I'm just going to apply the color to the hair and I let that sit on for about 20 to 25 minutes and I rinse it out with shampoo and I also deep condition the hair. So I flipped the hair over and I applied the color to the other side of the hair just because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing any spots. I didn't want any pieces of blonde hair peeking through so I really made sure to saturate the hair with the color and I'm also taking my comb and combing through the hair just to make sure that I didn't miss any spots. So this is the final results of the hair. Like I said, the color turned out a little bit brighter than I was expecting it to, but it's still a very pretty color. I love this hair so much. I've gotten so many compliments on this hair, like it's everything. So all of the information about this hair will be down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.